John P. and Callie, time for a big Geek House update. Welcome to Geek Geek. This episode of Geek Beat TV is brought to you by Dollar Shave Club. All right, guys. Well, it is two weeks from grand opening day. We're enjoying the sofa here. Yeah. It feels good to sit down. We, we don't sit down much these days. We don't. Nobody does. I got. You know what? Huge props to the entire team here. Everybody is working like slaves. Yeah. So, uh, it, yeah, it's, it's, there's a lot to be done. And we even have uh, people who've come in from out of town just to help, like David Foster. I mean, mm -hmm. Everybody yeah. is working really hard, except for Dave Curley. Yeah, Dave Curley. Dave Curley decided to just take a nap and put Carter to work. I don't know. I don't anyway. Know. Anyway, we do have uh, things going on. We we'll we'll get to we'll get to other stuff. We're gonna start in the corner of the lounge. Uh, Callie just what? Not leave him <laughs> Quit kicking me, woman. <laughs> So here is uh, here is update number one. Yep. The drop cams. It's a drop cam update. If you will look up there, you will notice that we have uh, we have gone to extremes with our drop cam implementation. We have. So we bought, we had the electrician, Keith the electrician, uh, in do little power outlets up above so that we don't have dangling wires. And then we were like, you know what, if we're gonna put a an outlet up there, why would we use a USB converter? Right. It's Let's just ugly. get an outlet that has USB plugs in it. So you notice we have uh, two just USB outlets. Cable. And yeah, a little 12 inch cable. So that's how we're gonna be mounting the drop cams all over the place right. here. You know what, actually the drop cams, I think we're being uh, illegal because they're focused on the Samsung TV over Are here. Are we rebroadcasting? We're rebroadcasting World War Z as we speak. Yeah. Um, so the 78 inch Samsung curved UHD for a 3D TV, that's a big mouthful. It is amazing. It, it is, is incredible. Truly impressive. I have to say, everybody who walks in just stops here. Huh. Yeah. Sits here for like five minutes, and then we have to figure out how to get them away from the TV. Okay, okay John. That's, uh, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, oh, come oh, on. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, we got. Oh. What? I forgot my list of Geek House Wall of Fame. When we pass my office, don't let me forget. Oh, we'll I've got try. a bunch of we'll names. Try. Okay, so um, <laughs> it's a dangerous place. To notice live here. we've got this projector right here on this stand. That is because Keith, among his other projects today, is working on getting the projector. It's going to be hung right here. Yeah. Right here, right and in the middle of this, and it'll be projecting all on this wall. We've already scoped it out. Uh, in fact, this is the patron wall, by yeah. the way. So for the monthly patrons who are supporting us on a monthly basis. That's right. If you aren't supporting us yet, you can go to geekme.tv forward slash patrons. <laughs> anyway, um, we're going to have that projecting here. And I actually discovered by put by putting the temporary throw up yeah. that, uh, I mean, I didn't temporarily throw up, but by temporarily putting, putting the, the projector the throw, throw spread. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. we can actually make it bigger than we want, so we oh, might yeah? actually have to shrink nice. it a little bit. So, Good. yeah, anyway. Oh, oh uh, back we've got access systems. Uh, Todd Pacey from Pacey Electrical came in from out of town and it started working on our setup here. We have GE is donating. Yeah, the, the Interlogic system. The Interlogic system. True uh, portal. It is incredible. So oh. here's how it works. Uh, this. So if I lock this, okay, it's can't get in there, right? Now, give it a second. Come on, baby. <laughs> always when you. Know you it's still in progress. No, always when we. Always when you want. Oh, there, there we go. go. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, See, I don't know how to even work it yet. It well, was, that's because it's not done. It was done. probably flashing because it was like, okay, okay hello. you can go in now. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, I, isn't it supposed to click or something? It just made no noise whatsoever. So I thought it was like, now I'm going to just, just gonna swipe in all the badge readers everywhere. <laughs> we got a badge reader on every single door. 
I'm just gonna uh, keep on oh, swiping the, the kitchen, bad readers. The kitchen Swipe. got door handles oh, yeah. finally. Yep. John and Lynn put the whole kitchen together That's all by right. themselves. It looks fantastic. But David Foster got gets credit for putting the door handles yep. on. So he got a handle on the situation. Yeah, he uh, got a handle. Uh, that was really oh, funny. Did you all see my coffee drawer? She has a ridiculous amount of coffee. Now, here's the funny it's, thing. It's, it's needing to be redone, but uh, look, from Cultured Cup, they're next door to us. Yeah. And then Coffee Bean Direct. Hang on, back it up, back what? it up. Because that's not the funny thing. What is that, chocolate stuff? There's also a drawer here. A tea drawer? With tea. And wait, from Tattle Teas? Wait, we're not done yet. There's oh, yeah. also <laughs> more coffee up here. I think. There's a lot of coffee. Yeah. You we're know gonna, what? We're I have, have a little have tidbit of information. Look, I brought this in. Brand new, that's unopened. Right, that, that, don't touch that, Dave. Uh, <laughs> brand new unopened coffee house, uh, donut house. There's one left as well, of this morning. From this morning from till this now. From this morning. Okay, uh, well, drinking all I the guess coffee. you're gonna have to keep that uh, locked up or something. <laughs> locked up oh, by the way, we got a new microwave. Yeah, yeah. And our microwave is a convection oven microwave. We need to test it, like cook all some kinds cookies of stuff. or something. Yeah, that's Geek Fit approved. The Elite Screens projection oh, yeah. screen Pablo, wall is gonna go. The nice Pablo. Of course, uh, <laughs> Pablo is hard at work. Dang, you're cool. He always works on two computers at once, right. one with each hand. One, one with each just, eye. His eyes are independent. That's just, yeah, his eyes are going like this independently. That projection screen wall, uh, whiteboard wall is going to go up in the next few days. So the adhesive, there's a special adhesive yeah. for that wall. And it's interesting because the adhesive is like a clay based adhesive. Yeah. And so that's on order. Oh. It should be here pretty soon. Oh, Hello. look who we ran into. Dave Peterson. Hey, Dave. Hey guys. These are the uh, CEA bots. That's right. And uh, he's uh, do you, on. Do you remember which bot you're on, on right Jeff, now? I believe. Is that Gary or Tara? I'm on Tara right now. Oh, oh Tara. Spreading the love. That's so, Tara. Yeah. We, we named our CEA bots. Find them all out. Yeah. <laughs> we named them after uh, the team, the CEA team. Not yeah, all of some them. Some of them. Uh, Gary Shapiro, Jeff, and Tara. And Tara. Yep, so, yep. anyway. So, uh, and, and we have. By the way, since we're in here, we might as well show. We we have all three of them currently. Yes. This is a temporary temporary move, but you can see we've got all the the CEA bots right the, here. The charging stations. Yeah, they've got look, their little charging we stations. Put landing put strips. Runaway, yeah. That's right. Those blue <laughs> the blue tape is there for a reason. It's so that when they're driving them, they can kind of drive them right in. So we hadn't thought about that, but we're gonna have to give them permanent to, landing strips. Yeah, figure that out. Okay, in Did here. Did they see I don't think you guys have seen these uh, the mock ups of the up desk areas yet. No. Nope, nope. So we have six you know what, we had said eighteen desks in here before. But we may only be able to fit 16. Yeah, that's okay. I'm not sure. We're we'll, going to figure we'll that out. We'll get the others in. But what we're going to do is you can imagine two different desks here. That's why it's back to back. Mm -hmm. And so what will happen is now oh, we got the you're robo starting reels. to see. We got the robo reels here. We can pull those right on down. And so the this would come down between the two desks. Yep. And power each it has up. its own power strip. So you power into that. And then if we wanted to, we can like pull a whole bunch of this stuff down. And, which is always fun. <laughs> and then you hit one button and it turns it off. You hit it again and watch, it Look, starts retracting. Oh, oh. Carter, you're standing on it. There you go. <laughs> and it just goes automatically up. And I'm going to hold it and it just stops. There you go. And by the way, that is uh, not the permanent installation no. up there. It, we need a little. Uh, That's it. We, we have a little grommet. We have spe So actually, update. Even Callie doesn't know this what? yet. Did they come in? The plates came in. Yay! Yay and, and yay no. and nay. So we were going to put this plate up there, which we could still do, but the Chatsworth guys were here. Oh. Michael was here earlier today. Yeah, we're trying to get these uh, cable racks going. The That's cable right. He is runs. the master of all things Chatsworth. Yes. And he was like, we have these cool little grommet things that we can use. Anyway, bottom line is he's going to send us some of those and I think we're going to try those instead because we think they'll look better. Because what we've done, hanging all these things up through the ceiling, not exactly standard. No, not exactly. But we did get the Elite Screens. The you elite... guys saw that video uh, yeah. about installing it. Bring Here we it down. Go. We'll bring it down. It's a nice. little slow, but it's, it's totally silent. You oh, can't hear a word. And this is the set, the temporary set that we've been using. Uh -huh. So a lot of you have been asking, what's up with the 
with the lighting, it's different than normal. Oh. Yes, it's very different because it's all very temporary. As you can see, we're only working with two lights. Uh, but hey, Dave, you know that's, what? That's what we're doing at the moment. We can project a green on the projector. Oh, oh, nice gigantic. Oh, we green don't have any more to shoot for the rest of the month. We've shot oh, them all. That's okay. okay. All we, right. we, we might do it. Just we might for the do that just for fun. All yeah. right. All right. We're wait. going. We're going a little slow. Yeah. Let's, our little, let's keep uh, going. Project. Okay, guys. Shh. Time for an intervention. John P. hasn't shaved since Foam Hinge. Come on, let's. I've got Dollar Shave Club right here for him. John P., you are looking very scruffy. So uh, I brought you a little present from Dollar Shave Club. I see, what do we have here? It is a razor. Oh, butt, butt wipes. <laughs> yes. You can One wear, wipe, Charlie. Your butt, butt wipes. Look, it's got aloe vera and chamomile, right. the civilized way to wipe. <laughs> this is what you bring me? This is what you I You tell bring me you. I need to shave and you bring me butt wipes? But I also bring you shave butter. Oh, shave butter. I, I can't say butter. It's Dave like shave said, butter. Dave said the shave butter is as smooth as rubbing a stick of butter on your face. <laughs> I mean, you're just being totally ridiculous. I'll see you later, buddy. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Do I have to ask? Well, I ran out of butter, so I had to borrow yours. Not Look at this razor. Butter. That looks great. Oh, here. Oh, that's a nice up. razor. Oh, and, it's nice and heavy. Yeah. That's a manly razor. And blades. And oh. then, once you're done shaving, you can use the post-shave moisturizer. Change your blades once a week. Hey, these are nice blades right here. So, will you do me a favor? I'm not gonna lie. And shave. Ooh. Oh. Moisturizing strips and all. So you can get this starting at like a dollar a month. You can start shaving better. Yeah, okay, I'll go do it. All right, it. you ready? Yeah. All right. Hang good. on, wait a minute. Don't I just forget your need butt wipes. to take these with me as well. I, you don't know. <laughs> Anything else, Mr. Nosy? <laughs> Are you, uh, you done? Nice and smooth. Nice, looks good. All right, time for the server room. We don't have a huge amount of updates in yeah. here. I'm on in. Oh, it's cold in here. It is very <laughs> cold in here. Look, we've got the AC set to 68 degrees right now. So I'm gonna put my good. desk in here. <laughs> uh, yeah, Dave would like it in here. So we do, we have actually one of the doors disassembled. This is one of the Look cool things. One of the cool things about these Chatsworth racks is the doors just come off real easily. Can you grab that panel right there? There's like a little hook thing here, you see that? Like a little hook, and you just pull that down. I'm not gonna do it, but you pull that down and bang, you take the door right Ken off. Ken will so probably that's, kill you. Yeah, Ken will not be happy. I'm not allowed to touch any of this, <laughs> but here's the big 45 drives uh, chassis. We need and, some more drives. Well, yeah, we, we actually have more drives under this, under this and this cover, there's more drives, but Ken's been moving them around, experimenting with things. So we got that. We've got servers racked up here. And you can see now this whole thing, wow, this, is this is like beautiful. full of servers. So when those get thing, when those get going, um, well, the AC will have a hard time keeping it 68 in here. Right. I'll tell you what. All right. Uh, not a lot Hopefully. else going on in here. Let's go see what else is out there. Yep. John, you need to clean up your, your your office there. Me? You need to clean up your office. Yeah, look, that's pretty. Both of them are pretty look, darn I bad. I have way more available floor space than you do. You see what? all this area? We what? could have a party in here My and look at hers. Rebel desk treadmill has suffered the fate of all treadmills and become it's, a storage device. Yeah, I can't even uh, see it. You know, I, a few messy people <laughs> need to look at a real office the way it's supposed to be. Actually, you know what? I hate hey, to Millie. say it because... Look, we have Millie here today. Oh, hi, Millie. This is Dave's dog. Yes, puppy. She's sweet. Look, Dave's office is actually, actually fairly that, clean. That has never been the case. Yeah, before. it's all, yours has always been much messier than ours. I don't understand hey, it. But think about Ken. His is worse. <laughs> oh, Ken's, uh, Ken's, Ken's looks like a tornado hit it. So. All right, let's head back um, onto the, ooh, the yeah. psych wall. Oh, no, wait. Before we go to the psych okay. wall, I got to show off my storage room. Oh, you got to show off my yeah. on-air light. Got, oh, well, oh, that's yeah, true, on actually. Light. We have an on-air light, although there's no switch for it yet, so I can't actually turn it on. Right. But that's but okay. You'll be able to turn that on later. Oh, I'm, I've been using my uh, vanity. Oh, that's it's, right. It's a bit of a mess. Show us. Show us how it works. 
It just is a vanity. So you have your makeup. You say that as if everybody knows what it is. <laughs> they don't, okay? I don't exactly know what a vanity is. It's a little desk. I knew you were vain. That you yeah. sit down and you have the lights that surround you. We need to change these co this color is wrong. Because it's yellow. Yeah, we need to get a better white light in here. But then it allows you to um, put your makeup on because you all want to put your makeup on, right? You have and a lot of makeup. Do you put all of that makeup on? That's a lot of makeup. It's different things. Like, it takes a lot, John. Yeah, yeah I, right. I need a lot of work, John. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. Look, here's the cool thing. She's got electrical outlets. Look. Uh, look, there by her. My hair dryer. Holster. Just oh, your hair dryer. Holster yeah, sits holster. in the holster. I, I gotta, thought that was a drink holder. No, <laughs> no it's all in, it's uh, it goes all the way. You through. know my up desk will have a drink holder. Yeah, I know. That doubles as a Wonder Woman bracelet. <laughs> Let's keep going because what's more exciting than her makeup desk is my new storage room. You did a fantastic job. It's getting dangerous back here. Yep, it is fantastic packed. Fantastic job with the uh, storage room. Okay, before we look in here, I want to remind you what it used to look like. These, these are our old storage shelves, which are great storage shelves. They're about six feet high. They're steel. They'll hold everything. They're about 20 inches deep or something, okay? But that's not what we built our storage room for. Turn around and take a look at these bad boys. A lot of racket. Yeah. Now you want me to come up the ladder? Uh, I'm gonna have to move that ladder, Dave. Just uh, you're killing me. No damage my walls! <laughs> You are so macho. It's the walls she cares about. Uh, yeah. I, I hear you struggling, but uh, I you don't should, damage the wall. You should have done this without your shirt on so I can see your abs. Right. Do we need another ladder to help? Or am I just taking up the one we're using? Yeah, I could, I yeah. could actually get up there. If you weren't so interested in filming my demise, it's done now. Oh, well, oh okay. Hey, Johnny, come lately. Thanks for ruining my shot. Uh, no problem. <laughs> That's one independently freestanding five foot by ten foot shelf. But it's amazing that this thing is strong enough that we're able to build the bottom shelves and then use them as a scaffold as we go up to get to the top ones. It's pretty, pretty freaking cool. But this thing is strong. It's and supposed it's not going to go anywhere. Well, yeah, theoretically. Theoretically. It'll hold, uh, it, in theory, it'll hold 1,100 pounds per shelf. I think we can use one more shelf right here, because once we get this high, we're not gonna want to stack things this big, you know? So I think one more shelf here, and then the top one for things we just never mess with. One one rack down, about six like Dave, more to go. Like Dave Curley's weight set. Right, right. No. Yeah, we need one more shelf for sure. Anything else you want to say? Goodbye, Gracie. OSHA. Yeah, John, uh, OSHA would not approve of that exactly. Well, I don't approve of OSHA. How's that? <laughs> you know what? You Oh, you're wearing boots today. Hey, no flip-flops. Look at that. But you always wear your flip-flops while like, doing metalworking and fire. I'm, That's dangerous. That, that was the old John P. The new John P. Safety first. <laughs> <laughs> Except when we're building these things. Right. It is It is a gorgeous job. It is amazing how tall and how much storage we can fit in here. Yeah. So here, I, I will put this, let me put this in perspective for you. Okay. These buckets, we use these buckets. They're pretty good sized buckets. Okay. We use these. And when we were using the old shelving units like this one, we can fit eight of these on an entire shelf system. Like all of this stuff. There would be eight of these here. Right. But with the new one, we can fit eight of these on just this one shelf. Nice. Okay? So one or shelf. A bed. A yeah, bed. Right. It, you th can this, make it a bunk bed. This is six feet wide, so literally you could put a cot here and we could have like, you know, twelve people in here Nap or something. Time. <laughs> yeah. So it's a significantly more storage. And what's also nice is it goes ten feet high, which you right. pointed out which sounds really like dangerously high, but hop on that bad yeah. boy. I love these things. And you can, you can actually- get up there safely. Yeah, even Juliet, if, my at, Juliet. at the very I, top, <laughs> you can still reach stuff and, and yep. you know, well, that might be a little heavy because I loaded it up there. Nice. 
Wait, are you calling but, me weak? Look, no, I'm just giant, saying. We put the giant box for the TV up there and it's hanging the off. Samsung TV. That's, that, the 78 inch TV box doesn't fit so well on the we, top shelf. We saved it though because we don't want to move that thing ever. Without a box, without ever. Without a box. Okay, now you can show them your psych wall. Psych wall, your all right. Beautiful little psych wall. So, the guys are working, aren't they? I think uh, they're back. They're done now. They're oh, coming they're, back tomorrow. Oh, they are, okay. But they have done, um, they've made major improvements. So, yeah, that's amazing. look at this. You saw, uh, actually, you have not seen yet how we built this. That will be released soon, but this is kind of the uh, finished, well not finished product, but it's gotten sanded. Okay, already. let's be clear. So far, I think this is day Seven? four or five. Uh, I'm gonna say five. Yeah. Like they are four or five days yeah. into continually mudding and and sanding and, and, sanding yeah. and everything else so that we are down to the final m stuff because they're actually sanding the entire wall by hand it has to be perfectly flat and the radius of these edges has to be perfectly uh curved it's a big job and they here's what i'm hard. hoping here's what i'm hoping i don't know if this is going to work but i'm going to say carter show like point the camera right at my hand about here and in theory, that should be wide enough that you almost can't see any depth because right. that is a corner. Right there is a corner, but you can't really tell because it's radius. I mean, even standing here, it's hard to see how far away from that I am. So that's the effect we'll get with the entire wall when it's done. Oh, Dave, put the uh, picture of David Foster standing here going like this in there right now. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty impressive. So you know how I got that picture? Yeah, yeah okay. I'll Carter, tell you how I got that picture. You see this there. giant ladder? You see this big pole right here? I put the ladder beside the pole and I got up there and stood on the top of the rung and shot down at him. That's how we did Again, that. I mean, I mean, no, I didn't do that. I mean... But you were wearing your, your safety flip -flops. But I had my safety flip-flops on, so it should be okay. Our live set, so it, it hasn't. There's really no update. Gotten done here, anyway. Um, yeah, that's it. That's, that's it. it. That's really that's it. it. That's okay, that's update. it for the updates. Um, more updates to come. Oh, hang on. And roll. Or not. <laughs> so, I think the next walkthrough we're gonna do is probably gonna be the one that shows you more or less the finished product on a bunch of this stuff. A huge thanks oh, yes. to our new Geek House Wall of Fame donators, Greg Lewis, Jamie Davis from Medicast Productions, George Sorrells, uh, Kevin Chirupata. Yeah, George. Narara. I can't read. Narara. Thomas Garza. Bruce Richardson. From Videolink. Yeah, is that Barnett? Barnett uh, Sue. Barnett Sue. From Compupolis. You're, she needs to work on her handwriting. I'll a just bit. read it. Chad. Chad Johnson from Core Point Health. Yeah, Kenneth Hayes. Yeah. Sean O'Connell. David da Dowding, Dowding. Bob Evans. Bobbage. And Mark Warriner. From Mobile Liftoff. Thanks, Thank guys. You guys, you are awesome. awesome. And that's just in like the last couple of days. Yeah, that is so sweet. We're going to get you all can, up on the wall. Yeah, you guys can help out uh, by putting your name on the wall at geekbeat.tv slash fundraiser. Thank you. All right, guys, we're going to head out. That's it for this update. So bye. Oh, by the way, <laughs> leave a comment. And uh, Car this is Carter shooting this one. That's right. Carter's the new intern. Yep. So you got to tell think? him how he did. How Good did job. he do? Thumbs up, two thumbs, thumbs up. up. Yeah, you gotta give them two thumbs yeah. up. All right guys, we'll see you later. Bye. Back to work.